I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Wednesday December the 18th where we've got the final cattle sales for the year uh, right here today tomorrow maybe a few sales on Friday uh, more so some special cow sales over the weekend but uh, next week just uh, gonna be completely shut up and, and nothing going on to speak of at all southeast will be totally locked down and and even your high volume sales uh, that, that sometimes would maybe have a sale on a Monday with a Wednesday Christmas are not going to do it and it's not so much that uh, they don't want to be there that close to Christmas it's by the time the cattle get to where they're going then you're going to be right on top of Christmas Eve and Christmas and and there's people that have to work those cattle and, and they want to spend time with their families during Christmas too so uh, it just doesn't work out so going to be uh, pretty well shut down here after today and tomorrow Look at the board uh, for Tuesday, December live cattle futures not doing a whole lot. Uh, down seven cents at 122.22. February was off 95 cents at 126.30. January feeder cattle down a dime at 145.15, and March actually up 12 cents at 145.72. Your fat cattle trade has not developed yet at all. We haven't seen any sales to speak of at all on in your direct. Uh, trade areas in your five area cattle feeding region there negotiated sales anyway I uh, did talk to some people said that they had heard uh, uh, stories of some uh, 190 pocket bids uh, dressed in Nebraska and you say a pocket bid well kind of well if I could get it would you take it kind of a deal there or uh, some guys kind of tip their hand a little bit maybe to some of their buddies but uh, you know that would be fully steady with the high of last week already so I think we're looking pretty good on, on a really light volume uh, we will sell some cattle this week uh, sometime later in the week uh, I don't expect a big movement but uh, we'll sell cattle this week not so sure about next week during Christmas but box beef cutout values uh, we thought that they had bottomed out for the year uh, at the end of last week uh, they were down so hard if you remember and then uh, early this week they kind of pepped up a little bit and now down hard on Tuesday's close and it just makes you think that uh, that maybe your Packers just wanted to to move some product and get it going or you know they they wouldn't take that lower money if if, uh, if they didn't want to move some product so uh, that's kind of curious that, that it would be that much lower this close to the holidays uh, and uh, you know after we had uh, such a huge volume of movement there a week ago why they thought they needed to move uh, quite a bit more product now and take less money to get it done but choice cuts on uh, Tuesday's close 212.81 down four dollars and 27 cents selects 203.47 down 204 and now look at this choice select spread remember how wide it was here just a few weeks ago over twenty dollars wide now it's down to nine dollars and thirty four cents on choice select spread did have a decent movement for the day at 152 loads though but uh, your cow sale on at Bassett Nebraska is here on Wednesday uh, and they've got about three thousand head remember I talked about it on our last visit and and they've got seven big dispersals on there so you guys uh, tap into that and, and uh, pay attention to that Bassett special cow sale and special bread heifer sale. A lot of, uh, lot of replacement type sales late in the year. Uh, you know, some people, uh, if they're diversified, I don't know a whole lot of people that's got a big tax problem this year, but uh, if you had some guys that wanted to spend some money uh, for tax reasons, it would be a good opportunity for them to buy some replacement stock late in the year like that and then your guys that are selling them they can defer and pick their check up after January 1st and it doesn't bother them so much and uh, it's just kind of a good time to do it there but several places having them here uh, real late in the year here even though the holidays are going on but your feeder cattle market your real-time index late in the day on Tuesday at 144.62 up a dollar and six cents that's a big jump there and we've got a lot of volume in there still from some of these big sales we've been having and to jump over a dollar so you know we've sold some cattle pretty good on uh, Tuesday there OKC West El Reno Oklahoma 3500 head for the calf sale they'll have uh, their, their bigger feeder cattle selling here on Wednesday they're expecting about 4,000 head of those 
But uh, steer calves two to four dollars higher uh, for the calf sale on Tuesday. Heifer calves steady to a buck higher. They did have that uh, uh, offering of Oklahoma Quality Beef Network calves in there, and they did uh, bring a big premium. So that was interesting to see. Ozarks Regional Stockyards, West Plains, Missouri, had a lighter run, uh, mostly due to the inclement weather and the bad roads uh, earlier in the week. But uh, Ozarks had 2,200 head for Tuesday's sale. The calves there, two to five bucks higher. Yearlings not well tested, but I want to give you guys a special note. They are having a replacement uh, cow sale there at uh, job at uh, West Plains, Missouri, at Ozarks Regional Stockyard. And it's going to be noon Saturday, December 21st. You think, well, on a weekend and that close to Christmas, but that's as good a time to do it as any. Uh, a lot of those people in that part of the country, they have uh, to have regular jobs during the week, and it gives them opportunity to come in on Saturday, and, and, and the holidays is going on, and, and nothing they'd rather do than go to a cow sale anyway. But having that replacement cow special noon Saturday, December 21st at Ozarks Regional Stockyard, then the first sale of the new year will be Friday. It won't be the next Tuesday. It'll be Friday, January the 3rd. They got a special pre-vac sale there at West Plains. And, and you can view those sales at uh, dvauction.com. We broadcast all their sales right there. And you can uh, get on to dvauction.com and, and pull up Ozarks Regional Stockyards and check those sales out. I got several quotes I want to give you guys uh, because that's my favorite thing to do is give you top quotes around the country and we got time for it today Gordon livestock market Gordon, Nebraska look at these light calves what they'll bring in Gordon 99 head of 508 pound steer calves bring 182.50 pretty impressive price there and look at these steers here Dakota Davis sent me a, a picture of them in Caldwell, Kansas uh, in the ring right there, 61 head of 886 pound feeding steers right there at 149.50 and they're a pretty slick deal uh, if you like them as much as I do, they look pretty good. North Platte, Nebraska. My friend Kyle Lehman got that sale kind of up and running pretty good right now. Uh, he got some stick out quotes once in a while. Here he had one today or on Tuesday there at North Platte Stockyards, 57 head 628 pound bigger steer calves at 165. That's as good a quote as you'll see anywhere, guys, right there at North Platte Stockyards. And I'm going to be going up there uh, to see Kyle and, and, uh, and give a, a speaking engagement there on January the 2nd, right after the holidays there. Uh, it'll be in North Platte at the Lincoln County Fairgrounds. So uh, if you guys are interested in coming and, and listening to one of my talks, I'll be giving one there January the 2nd. I believe it's at uh, 6.30 in the evening. Rezac Livestock Commission, St. Mary's, Kansas. Denny Rezac, he can flat sell them. He gets the big strings. He had a lot of uh, big strings of steers and, and uh, several loads of heifers there on Tuesday. But look at this one stick out deal. 119 head of 812 pound steers in St. Mary's, Kansas at 152. But the top quote that I saw, uh, and there were several big strings at Welch Stockyards in Welch, Oklahoma. Tell you what, they had a good sale there. Uh, several large strings there, three strings of steers and a couple loads of heifers there. They all sold good. But this one stick out deal, 167 head of nearly 900 pounders, 891 pound steers bring 150.75 Welch, Oklahoma. That's your feeder flash for Wednesday.